Hello everyone, welcome back. I am playing the Terraria again. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys a really good server um, that I recently discovered uh, through someone on a Twitch chat. Uh, they probably have billions of servers like these, but uh, this server gives you all kinds of good stuff though, and uh, I mean, I don't know, I'll, it has a good organization routes and stuff, like there's different areas to go to and different sections. Yeah, sections is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and, yeah. PvP arena, arena, another arena, <laughs> NPCs, sandbox, uh, boss and monster arenas, so you can kill your own bosses in the server as well. Portals, uh, for mob arenas, portal for boss arenas, so let's go through those. That's quite good. But the main thing I like about this server is that you can go to this bit called the Armory. Uh, and there's obviously like a little tooltip here or like uh, words on the sign. Basically, to sum up all those words, you just walk down, you can access your safe if you want to, put your money in here or whatever. Uh, but basically this area offers you all like the end game and just really, actually everything. Uh, but I assume uh, the reason why most people come here is because they want the in-game stuff. And you open all this, all these chests, and you can see that like, you can just take any of this and take it with you. Close my inventory. I can walk around with these fragments. Um, the server uses a plugin that pretty much respawns all the items, so it doesn't matter how much you take it will instantly refill after the chest is closed when you're finished with it. Uh, you can even put the stuff in your piggy bank if you want, uh, and take it home with you to your single player world. So if you plan on doing that, then you can. Um, I see this video as being really controversial though, I, I, I assume people won't be happy about there being servers, or if this is the only server that really does this, but I mean it is kind of stupid why you'd want to take all of this amazing stuff, you know, you can take anything and play around with it without, you know, getting banned or whatever. But, uh, yeah, someone's spamming the Star Wraith, whatever it's called. As you can see, uh, it goes in the order of rows here, so swords, yo-yos, flails, spears, and they're colored as well, so you know. Uh, so this top bit in the red section will contain swords, yo-yos, flares, spears, and melee weapons. And then the bottom row will contain the magic weapons. They haven't quite colored in the chests properly though, like they're all random, but... Yeah, look here, you can get like 999 platinum if you wanted to. And uh, just to prove that everything respawns, I could take this out. Remember that slot there? I could close. Uh, was it this chest? Yeah. And then it's back there, but I'm going to bin this because that's, that's way too much. Actually, can I just throw that on the ground because I really don't want to... <laughs> I don't even want that in my in my uh, my bin. That's just cheating. Um, but yeah, the, the best thing I like about this server is that you can get really, really hard stuff. Like Shroom My Army and the Spectre Armor. Uh, it's not just armors, though. Uh, this server also offers... Uh, like the bars, the ores, like dyes, and most importantly, the vanity stuff. Vanity stuff is amazing in this game, and there's all kinds of different vanity stuff. Oh, I need that. Tempting to take that high test fishing line, but I'll I'll get it legit at some point. Um, so the stuff that I did take for myself were actually the boss trophies. Those were the hardest things to get. It's only a 10% chance to drop from each boss, so I. Uh, I don't know, I kind of took them, I'll admit. Uh, got some uh, equipment in these chests. Where are the vanities again? Okay, so we just look for the sign. This relates to this, this relates to that. And so, vanities will be in these top row chests. As you can see, you get the archaeologist, the bee, the buccaneer, clown, cowboy, elf. You even get the fish set, which is a very rare uh, drop rate. It's like a 1 in 88 from the angler when you do quests for him. 
You can also get all the Halloween stuff. You can just the creeper from uh, from Minecraft if you really want to. Uh, got the tree. I mean, oh god, it's so tempting to to take all this stuff. But I mean, that's the stuff I've got. This is legit. And I don't really want to end it just like that. Whoops! <laughs> dash to the right. Uh, whoa! What's all this stuff? It uh, dies. Huh? Okay, random stuff. Music box. Oh, all the music boxes I see. That's pretty cool, actually. So yeah, this is a server where you can just essentially get anything you want. If you really are struggling to get something, like, uh, for example, the uh, the lucky coin and the gold ring. That This is a combination of both when you put them in a tinkerer's working station. Fun fact. Uh, but if you're struggling to get those, you can just go on this server, and I'll have the link or the uh, IP address on the screen if you really want to, uh, go on it yourself you can, yeah, you can just search for it and uh, let's try and find this lucky coin, it's probably going to be under accessories uh, you got the fishing stuff in here, you got the pocket guide, you even got the cell phone which is a really hard item to get in the game I have one myself that I recently crafted, and I've played like over 200 hours of this game, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, you got the weather radio, you got the sextant, analyzer, you got all the stuff you need uh, to find, uh, to get the uh, cell phone, even the PDA's in there. Uh, lucky coin should be in one of these chests. Keep in mind there are a lot of people on this server as well. There it is, there's a lucky coin, and there's the gold ring. So you combine those two and you get the menacing coin. Well, not just the menacing, but just the coin ring. So yeah, it's pretty easy to find. You just have to look under the right section of all these signs. You've got light sources, which I may actually take a little peek of that, because I haven't got a lot of light sources. I'm actually uh, just using normal torches and it's kind of boring at this stage, but... Yeah, I mean, I um, might as well take some of these. Are you sure these are light sources? These aren't light sources. What are they talking about? Sounds like someone's taking a hit from the bong or something, but I don't know what that sound is. So you got all these blocks. For some reason, this is listed wrong. But oh, yeah, you can find them, I guess. You got all the main armors, uh, the hallowed armor, the tiki armor, and what's that? Armor? Oh, that's the tiki armor. What's this then? Oh, it's not named. Okay, that looks more like the tiki armor. Oh, that's just me. You can also play with these and change a background. That's pretty damn cool in my opinion. Uh, you got all the furnitures in here as well. You just any item. I mean, what am I talking about? It's any item you can you can take. There's also a chat here as well. Uh, so yeah, actually I'll mention that. Where, where you'll spawn in uh, this area right here. This is like the middle bit. This guy's got all of the gems. Uh, you'll spawn right here in the middle, or like where my cursor is. All these people are standing. You have to type in a slash register uh, space and then anything like any letter or word or anything. It's just to uh, it hooks up with your character. So then when you log in next, uh, the server knows you're not a bot, and you can then then when you log in next time, you can do slash uh, login space and then password pretty damn simple. You just have to do that every time so it server knows you're not just, you know, trying to bot the place about. But that's pretty damn good. You've also got a little key here actually. Blue signs are informative. White signs direct you around spawn. Pink engages various commands. And that is a multicolored sign. Red signs are warnings. You can also enable PvP on this, uh, right here. And you can fight people in the lobby, which is pretty good. But I think you're supposed to go to the PvP arenas for that. Which is pretty good. Uh, oh, I got all the new stuff. Uh, 1.3.2 came out recently. And they even got Pedguin's stuff in here. You have to kill the corruption penguins. I will get that legit. I mean, that's not impossible. I just tend to take stuff from this server that I really know I'm not going to be able to get. And it's going to take me forever. There's also a lot of these around. I'm dumping my money in. Oh, yeah, so you can change a hairstyle. 
It's pretty good. I'm actually happy with the hair I've got. I think. I mean, look, it's, none of these match me. Oh! That looks pretty damn funky. Oh, whoa, that. Yeah, either default hair. It's pretty good. Got more, I mean, oh god. So many. So many. But yeah, uh, that's probably going to wrap up today's video. Uh, I'm very happy to announce, guys, that I, I've i actually been able to monetize my videos. I mean, I just randomly checked on my channel and noticed that I haven't uploaded in like five months, and I really do apologize for that. For a few of you that do watch out there, I mean... You know, I apologize. I apologize. Voice break. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, I realized on my channel that I can actually monetize my videos. I just had to uh, send out an application, and uh, it's been approved. I'm like really surprised about it. Um, so you will see adverts, but I mean, there's like a five second skip on them. So I mean, it's not the end of the world, and it does support me at the end of the day. So. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I mean, it's been fun. It's been fun covering this. Going around the server and uh, showing you all the stuff. I mean, how to get all the items. So, yeah, if you're ever stuck on getting something, just come on this server and you can make sure you register and log in. Um, also, for some reason... Oh, there's a temple key on the floor. <laughs> okay. Uh, for some reason, hooks, or at least the Christmas hook, is banned. I uh, So... If I were you, I would go on your single player and then take your grappling hook off and put it in your money trough, uh, because you cannot do anything. You get the stoned effect that the... what's she called again? The Medusa, that's it, gives you. I had to think about that one. Um, there you go. Uh, so you're holding a banned item. And, I, yeah, I can't put it in my inventory now. Oh, I can now. Can I now move? Can I now move? Yeah, there we go. So you have to put it in a, in your money trough on your single player. Uh, when you spawn in, you will not even be able to spawn your money trough to put the grapple hook in, so I recommend going on your single player and putting it in. Because for some reason, they don't like it. Like, now, for instance, so you get the... Uh, whatever that effect is called. You also get the frozen, where you can't move. So, um, I don't know why they just, they really don't like grapple hooks. There's a lot of, uh, beginner people on here. Especially that guy. I just picked up a temple key. Whoa. I should get rid of those jungle seeds, because that's, that's cheating. Those seeds are rare, I have you know. So yeah, it's been fun, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you really did like it, or dislike it if you didn't like it. I really don't mind. It's... Your own opinion. Is that a bunny cannon? Explosive bunnies. Cool. Right, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.